Hi guys, my name is Gabe Suarez. I'm here with Andy Logan on the range. We're doing a little bit of work with uh, Red Dot Pistols. So, Andy, you've had some experience with this a little bit, kind of dabbled with it? A little bit, yeah. So I've been shooting Thursday Night Steel, Tuesday Night Steel, some local club matches, nothing on the national level. Um, limited with a fiber optic front, black plane rear. I did try um, a Red Dot sight a couple of years ago. Um, didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't think I was getting on target quick enough. I was losing the dot on the... Um, on the target, so I went immediately back to my my old pistol before. Sure. Before, sure. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you through a little bit of a training evolution. It's all dry, you know, stuff that that you know the viewer can can do at home, you know, sort of a self teacher kind of thing. So what uh, what I'm going to have you do is just face down range and uh, you know go ahead and, and draw and, and make sure that you're unloaded clear. Okay. Good to go. All right. So what we're going to do, you're working. Go ahead and present to ready. All right, you're working with uh, with an RMO6 uh, there, which we're able to turn off. And, and uh, viewer, if you look at your your uh, RMR, uh, you know instructions. All right, you're supposed to read those, by the way. Uh, with this, you can simply come up here. Okay, let's just show the show the guys here. I'll use the other hand. I can squeeze these together for a couple of seconds, and inward pressure with both hands. And what it does, it turns off the RMR. So you are you're using basically just the iron sights. Okay, so right from here, from ready, just punch out a few times and pick up your sights like you always have in the past. Right on target. Good. Just do it, you know, five or six times. You know, just kind of reacquaint yourself with what you're supposed to do. Yeah, it's like the. The red dot's not even on there because it's just right. iron sights right now. Just picking up the iron sights and just do it a few more times. Okay. Yeah, it's as fast as I would be with okay. my pistol. All right. Now, don't change anything. All right. It's interesting. The uh, it's the same thing, but the dot is dropping right down on top of the front sight. You know, I'm still focused on the front sight, but I can see the dot is dead center. Okay center mass where I want to shoot. Okay, so now we've gone through a little bit of a transition where you're using the sights to guide your eye onto the red dot. Okay, now do a few more dry and what I want you to do is is intentionally try and ignore the sights but notice the dot. Okay. I think this is a muscle memory thing for me. It is that, very much, yeah. That I, that I didn't really try before because with the same presentation now the dot's just there, the target's there, everything's kind of there. I'm not even sure what I'm focused on at this point. Okay. Other than the fact that I'm lined up perfectly with everything. Okay, that was really good. Now, what was what was your impression about what uh, what just what just happened here with the target? Well, I wasn't as fast as I should have been because I was still trying to popsicle the red dot right. on the front sight right. as if it was a front sight. Okay, so the the beauty of this, and it's something that a lot of guys don't quite understand. They think they have to center the dot. They think it's a rifle scope, like a loophole mill dot or something. It's not. Uh, the anywhere you see the dot on this screen. It's centered on the target that you want to hit will work okay so for example all right so we've got a shoot and see over here okay i'm going to keep the dot centered on the red dot but okay but right now i've moved the, the screen so that the dot is in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Okay? And I'm shooting with both eyes open now i'm moving the dot over to the upper right hand corner of the screen all right i am out of ammo here no big deal now the dot is in the lower right hand, and now it's in the lower right hand. Okay? So wherever that dot happens to be on the screen, 
that's where your shot's gonna go. It's okay? just like a, a rifle aim point. Exactly. But exactly. for some reason I have to get it past the fact that I'm holding a pistol. Okay, so what, uh, I'm, this is hot, go ahead and take it. Okay. What, uh, what I want you to do is, I want you to first of all keep both eyes open, okay? And be looking at the target for this, uh, this uh, evolution here. Punch out, and as long as you see that dot somewhere on that shoot and see, you're good to go. Shoot as fast as you can pick up the dot. Okay. Okay, go ahead, on you. Much faster. Okay, that's fast. Now, just go ahead, go ahead and, and, and clear that out. Okay, now let's let's face the camera because you got a look on your face. It's it's priceless. Those last two rounds were just I don't know what my splits would be. I wish we had a timer, but yeah. that was under a, a, a fifth of a second. Okay. Now what changed? Uh, I was just looking at the dot. So and the dot ignoring, appeared ignoring instantly, the sights and just picking up the dot. Yep. Okay. And so once once you learn to do that. Is it is it your impression that you're slower or that you're faster? It's faster. It's just, it takes an explanation, obviously, and it'll take practice. When I first did this, I got it. I went to the range. I put two mags through it, and I sold it because I didn't really understand what I was doing. And plus, what really helps on this gun is um, the dots on the sights. There aren't the, the plain black sights. Right. For me, personally, I'm used to having dots, and having that as a reference point it helped initially. But now that I'm just looking at the red dot, it's popping right up on me. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Outstanding. Yeah. Okay, so you know, as as you saw, uh, as long as you you've got that red dot on the target that you want to wish to hit, it doesn't matter the position of the pistol, it doesn't matter where on that screen you're picking up that dot. As long as you're seeing that dot in that screen, that's a, you know, it's a pretty generous size screen for something that fits on a pistol. Okay, as long as you're able to pick that up, you're good to go. You're yeah, it, it's it's. I feel much differently about it now. I mean, I only have three mags through it, but definitely, with your 15-minute coaching and understanding of, of what this thing can do, um, I'm a believer. I think the hardest part is going to be getting this gun back. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Got it. Just I call it good. Yeah.